Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. So today I'm bringing you guys the celebrity inspired look and it is inspired by the makeup Jennifer Lopez wore to the People's Choice Awards 2017. If you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then please stay tuned. So I started off with my eyebrows already done and I also went ahead and primed my eyelids using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Also one of the key components to that JLo glow is to make sure that you moisturize your skin before you start so please keep that in mind and moisturize well. The makeup she wore to the awards show is pretty simple, pretty neutral. It appeared to be a purple smoky eye with a gold lid. I will be listing the names of all the products I use below in the description box and I will also be naming some of them as we go. So I'm starting off with a medium tone purple shade from my Lorac Pro Palette. That's going to be my all over crease or transition shade. So so directly on top of that purple transition shade, I'm going to go in with a deeper purple color. This shade has a few specks of glitter in it and this is going to be in the outer V. I'm going to place the color where I want it first and then using that same blending brush that I used for my transition, I'm going to use that to blend the two colors together. I went ahead and used the gold eyeshadow and put that on a packing brush, packed that on my lid and blended the two shades together. So after blending those two colors together, I noticed that my crease had lost some depth. So I went back in with the darker purple eyeshadow and I blended some more of that into my crease as well. Do 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 dance. <laughs> okay, so Jennifer Lopez's skin is often very dewy and natural looking. I went ahead and used the L'Oreal True Match Foundation to achieve that look. This foundation has a very natural dewy finish. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so I always use this orange color corrector on my upper lip. I have darker pigmentation there, and this does a great job at correcting the color. I use this concealer stick under my eyes and all the areas on my face I would like to highlight. I didn't notice too much of a highlight on her skin, but once I go ahead and complete the look, it's not even that noticeable. Do 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 dance again. <laughs> okay, so after applying the concealer, I went in and used my finger to blend the concealer into my skin. I love doing it this way because it really warms your product into your skin and it makes it look a lot more even and natural. After pushing the product into my skin, blending it out, I go in with my airspun powder and set the concealer underneath my eyes and all the other areas that I highlighted. So looking at my Jennifer Lopez reference picture, she has a purplish shade under her lower lash line as well. I went in with that same deep purple shade that I used and placed that on the lower lash line and I used a more concentrated brush to make sure I put that where exactly where I wanted to go. So the orange concealer along with the pink powder on top really do a great job of masking any dark pigmentation and making everything look one shade. One of the key components of this makeup look that I really loved about it was the eyeliner. Her waterline is entirely rimmed in black eyeliner and she also has a little bit of eyeliner on the top. The top of her eyes are also lined as well but she does not have a flick or a wing so I'm going to go ahead and achieve that using gel eyeliner and liquid eyeliner. To smoke and smudge that look out, I'm taking this pencil brush and I'm going to smudge the two eyeliners together. After smudging out the lash line, I went in with some mascara just to prep for the lashes that I'm using. After that, I brushed away the powder that I used and went ahead and applied my contour shade. Blend, blend, blend. Contour my nose. Blend some more. Her lips were lined with a darker brown lip liner and she also had more of a nudie pink lipstick or lip gloss in the center of her lips so I went ahead and lined my lips, used a pinkish nude lipstick that I have. On top of that to achieve that glossy look I used the NYX Butter Gloss. Now for that JLo glow. So as I mentioned earlier, JLo has a natural kind of glow because her skin is very well moisturized before she applies the makeup. So of course I did moisturize before I started. Also I have dry skin so I always make sure my skin is moisturized. To add even more glow, I went in with a very neutral champagne tone highlight. I used that all over my face. The cheekbones, nose, forehead, shin. So as I mentioned before, JLo's makeup looks very natural and neutral. So this setting spray part is very important. It'll make sure all the powders seep into your skin and nothing will look powdery or cakey. Everything will look as natural as possible. Alright guys, that's the makeup look complete. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends on all your social media sites, and of course subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more Makeup Mondays on my channel here as you all know. If you have any questions at all, any concerns, please leave those below in the comment section. Thanks for your time guys. Bye for now.